Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over what you should know about wound dehiscence. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So what is wound dehiscence? So wound dehiscence is a surgical complication where the incision, so the cut that's made during a surgical procedure, it reopens. So you can have partial dehiscence or you can have complete dehiscence. So partial dehiscence means that the edge of the incision is pulling apart in one or more area. So it's not the whole incision that's open, but it's just part of the incision. It could be in multiple multiple spots, but it's not the whole incision, okay? And then we have complete dehiscence, which is the entire cut reopens. So signs of wound dehiscence. So um, it's most common within three to 10 days after surgery and symptoms can include redness, swelling, bleeding, drainage of fluids, uh, pain, fever, broken stitches, or gaps in the edge of the incision, okay? Um, and these will gradually keep getting worse. So there are multiple reasons for wound dehiscence. So um, the first one is infection. So healing cannot move past the inflammatory phase if there is an infection there, okay? So um, it will cause the opening. Um, pressure on the sutures, so vomiting, coughing, heavy lift, lifting um, can strain the staples or sutures. So that's why we really need to support the area, um, especially when it's on our abdomen. So they have the um, abdominal binders and um, just to hold the stomach in place. So if there is vomiting, coughing, it's not pulling at that site um, because anytime we pull, it can open. Um, poor suture technique. So if it's not sutured correctly or staples are put in improperly, it can pull apart. Um, and then also we have decreased blood fluid. So good flow is uh, very important for your skin to heal. So if you have poor circulation, um, it's not going to be able to push the bacteria and dead cells out. Um, which once again can cause infection and the decrease in oxygen to the area um, can cause the wound dehis to dehisce um, and not heal properly. So um, when a wound dehisces, um, it can be very, very serious, okay? Even the minor uh, wound disruption, it needs to be treated way, right away to prevent further complications. Um, Open wounds are at high risk of infection, um, and this can lead to further separation. Now, uh, complete wound dehiscence is an absolute medical emergency um, because this can lead to evisceration. So that's the internal organs coming out of the wound. Um, so especially in the abdominal area, it can happen. So it is a medical emergency. Um, and we would have to get the patient to surgery right away. Um, so the treatment for wound dehiscence, um, at the first sign of any wound breakdown, we would want to get a hold of the doctor right away. Um, and possible treatments include pain management, removal of dead tissue, antibiotics, um, managing risk factors, um, negative pressure wound therapy, and if um, we need to reclose the area, so suture staples, uh, we can do that too. So I hope you have a better understanding of the different types of wound dehiscences that we can have and the importance of making sure that we are protecting the area from strain, infection, um, to prevent this serious complication. Um, so that's all I have for this video, guys, and I will catch you in my next one. See ya.